As you might know, Germany consists of 16 federal states. Think of it as the different states in the USA or the cantons in Switzerland. Not only people from many countries over the globe move to Germany, but also the Germans themselves like to move from one federal state to another. So the question arises as to which federal state is the most attractive one to move to. In addition to the already published video about moving to Germany, I would like to take this opportunity to compare all 16 federal states of Germany with each other. Specifically Specifically, I'm comparing the federal states of Baden-Württemberg, Bavaria, Berlin, Brandenburg, Bremen, Hamburg, Hesse, Mecklenburg-Western, Poremania, Lower Saxony, North Rhine-Westphalia, Rhineland-Palatinate, Saarland, Saxony, Saxony-Anhalt, Schleswig-Holstein and Thuringia in gross domestic product per employed person, unemployment rate, poverty risk rate, education, security and climate. The result of this comparison exclusively depends on these six factors. For sure one cannot say which federal state is the best one in absolute terms. This strongly depends on personal preferences. First we will take a look at the six topics mentioned previously, followed by a conclusion at the end of this video. I will determine a score for each state and topic, with one being the best and zero being the worst. At the end all points are added up and it becomes clear which federal state performs best. One of the most important factors is the economy. A strong economy allows you to generate a good income in a financially stable environment. Let us therefore take a look at the gross domestic product per employed person. It stands out that Hamburg has the largest gross domestic product per employed person. This is not surprising since the federal state of Hamburg is a very small federal state that only consists of the city of Hamburg. The worst performing state in this regard is Thuringia. Since Hamburg has the highest GDP per employed person with 95,000 1,286 euros, it receives one whole point and because Thuringia has the lowest with 61,047 euros, Thuringia receives zero points. All other federal states each receive a value between zero and one, depending on how the GDP of the federal state is in relation to the GDP of Hamburg. Next comes unemployment rate. After all, you probably don't want to move to a federal state that has a high unemployment rate. Bavaria is the state with the lowest unemployment rate, amounting to 3.6%. The highest unemployment rate can be found in the state of Bremen. There, it is at a whopping 11.1%. Compared to Switzerland, these values seem to be really high. In the canton of appenzell Innerrhoden, for instance, the unemployment rate is at an incredible 0.8%. The data was collected in December 2020. Each federal state again receives a value between 0 and 1, while we continue with the next topic, the risk of poverty. In in case you plan to move to Germany, you are probably interested in the federal states in which the population is not at risk of poverty. That is why I use the risk of poverty rate, which shows what percentage of the population is at risk of poverty. The state in which the population is hardly threatened by poverty is Bavaria. Only 11.9% of the population there are at risk of poverty. In Bremen, however, the rate is at 24.9%. That's truly impressive. Almost every fourth inhabitant of Bremen is at risk of poverty. Here again each state receives a value between 0 and 1. Let's draw a brief conclusion. If we consider the GDP, the unemployment rate and the risk of poverty, the state of Bavaria performs best. Bavaria is followed by Baden-Württemberg, Hamburg, Hesse, Rhineland, Palatinate, Schleswig-Holstein, Lower Saxony, Brandenburg, North Rhine-Westphalia, Saarland, Thuringia, Saxony, Saxony-Anhalt, Berlin, Bremen and Mecklenburg-Western Pomerania. The quality of education is, especially if you have children, of central importance. So let's take a look at the German Education Index of 2020. 93 different indicators are included in this index. This ranges from the number of school dropouts per federal state to the number of newly appointed doctors. The federal state of Saxony performs best here, with a value of 66.9. The lowest performing state in this regard is the neighboring state of Saxony-Anhalt, with a value of 41.2. Again, each state gets a value between 0 and 1, and we move on to security. With increasing crime rates in Western European countries, security is an important factor to consider. The state of Berlin has the highest number of criminal offenses per 100,000 inhabitants, with 14,086 crimes per 100,000 inhabitants in 2019, it is the federal state with by far the highest number of crimes in relation to the population. Here again it should be noted that the state of Berlin is a very small federal state 
that practically only consists of the city of Berlin. Since cities tend to have a lower level of security, it is not surprising that Hamburg does not do that well here too. The best performing federal state in this regard is Bavaria, with only 4,615 crimes per 100,000 inhabitants. Each state again receives a value between 0 and 1, and we move on to the last topic, the climate. A great climate allows you to spend much time outside and generally feel better. That is why I think it is informative to include climate to this comparison. Since the climate differs from region to region within a federal state, I limit myself to the average annual temperature in the capital of the respective federal state. The highest temperatures may be expected in the federal state of Nordrhein-Westphalia and Baden-Württemberg, both at 11.5 degrees Celsius or 52.7 degrees Fahrenheit. The coldest state seems to be the state of Thuringia, with just 8.45 degrees Celsius or 47.2 degrees Fahrenheit. If we now assign a value between 0 and 1 to each federal state, then it becomes clear that, at least among these factors, the state of Bavaria performs best. Bavaria is followed by Baden-Württemberg, Saxony, Hesse, Lower Saxony, Rhineland, Palatinate, Hamburg, North Rhine-Westphalia, Schleswig-Holstein, Thuringia, Saarland, Brandenburg, Saxony-Anhalt, Mecklenburg, Western Pomerania, Bremen and Berlin. But let's draw a brief summary of each federal state, starting from the bottom. As the most insecure federal state, Berlin receives zero points in this regard. The low level of education, the high unemployment rate and the low GDP are also downsides. Almost 20% of the population are at risk of poverty. Bremen has the highest unemployment rate and the highest risk of poverty, so it receives zero points in these two topics. It also ranks very low in the education index and the low level of security is a drawback. Nevertheless, it scores very well in terms of GDP per employed person. Mecklenburg Western Pomerania scores almost no points in the economy. Furthermore, climate and education leave a lot to be desired. However, the high level of security is an upside. Saxony-Anhalt got zero points in education and the GDP is low. Moreover, the climate isn't warm either. However, Saxony-Anhalt is doing good when it comes to security. The next federal state is Brandenburg. Education as well as GDP are topics to improve. On the other hand, the unemployment rate is okay, security is not too bad and poverty is not too present either. Saarland gets some points in every topic, however, the GDP may be improved. The temperatures are not too warm either, but it does not well in terms of security. Thuringia performs very interestingly. It scores zero points in GDP per employed person and zero points in climate. Nevertheless, it scores great in all other topics. Security is particularly good, but also the unemployment rate is low. Schleswig-Holstein can improve its education. GDP is not high either, but poverty is not widespread and security is high. Nord Rhine-Westphalia can improve in education. In return, it gets a whole point in climate, so the climate is the warmest. In all other topics, Nord Rhine-Westphalia is doing normal. The next federal state is Hamburg. The biggest downside is the climate and security is not very high either. Apart from that, Hamburg is doing well. It clears a whole point in GDP per employed person, so it is the leading state in this regard. Rhineland Palatinate can improve in education, however, the unemployment rate is low and security is high. Also, poverty only endangers a small percentage of the population. Let's take a look at the top 5 federal states of Germany. Lower Saxony can improve especially in education and GDP per employed person. Other than that, Lower Saxony is doing pretty well. Above all, the low unemployment rate, the high level of security and the warm climate are upsides. Hess scores well everywhere, except in education so education is something that provides room for improvement. Saxony receives a whole point in education, so it is the best state in terms of education. The warm climate and the high level of security are advantages. However, the low GDP is a downside that needs to be considered. Baden-Württemberg is in second place with a considerable lead. With an average temperature of 11.5 degrees Celsius, Baden-Württemberg and North Rhine-Westphalia are the two most attractive states in this regard. But also in terms of security, the risk of poverty and the unemployment rate, it gets values of over 0.9, which is by far above average. There is only slight potential for improvement in education. Bavaria is in first place. This state beats the average in every regard. Bavaria takes first place in three out of six topics. The unemployment rate is the lowest, the risk of poverty the lowest and security the highest of all federal states. The climate is also warm and when it comes to education, Bavaria is above average as well. One point to improve would be the GDP per employed person. So you can see that Germany has very diverse federal states that differ greatly. 
All federal states have a different profile and only you can decide for yourself which characteristics you want to value most and which federal state suits you best. All sources are linked in the video description. I hope this video was informative. Don't forget to subscribe for free to not miss any new videos about the world's most interesting countries and cities. See you next Saturday and thank you for watching.